Hey everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial. And in this session, we will discuss about how to make use of HTTP get request along with Flutter block pattern. Okay, and this tutorial is going to be very simple. And what we have here is a simple elevator button right over the center. And upon clicking this load data button, it is going to make an HTTP get request. And once the data is obtained as a result, it is going to display that response in the list view builder. Okay. And upon clicking the back button, which is present at the very bottom, it is going to take us back to the initial page itself. Okay, this is a very basic example, and hope you got a good overview of what we are about to discuss in this series. With this idea, let's move on to the coding part. Add two packages in your PubSpec YML file, and the packages are HTTP as well as Flutter block. And always check for the latest version. As for the video recording day, these are the latest version for these packages. And if you are going to apply the similar kind of effect, then you can also add that package as well in your PubSpec. Okay. And after adding these packages, um, first let me just start explaining with the block. Starting with the states, we will be totally having three states for this app. One is the initial state, which is the initial layout, what you see right over here. And followed by the initial state, we have the loading state, that is the similar kind of uh, animations and followed by the loading state we have the loaded state finally and this loaded state is going to display the entire set of json bundle in the list view therefore we are going to create a variable for that since it is a final we are going to create a constraint for the same okay so these are the three states which we will be having for this app and moving over to the events here in the events file we will be totally having two events one is the load data event which we get at the initial layout and the back button event which we will be getting in the loader layout okay totally two events right over here and we can create the classes for the same events okay and this is all about the events let's move on to the block we will be mapping events to states and we will be checking for the initial event which is the load data if it is so we will be emitting the loading state that in turn will be rendering the similar effect and followed by which will be lasting for around two seconds and after that we will be making an get request function call so fetch data function is something which is written on separately in say the repository folder and we'll come back to that later on and the response is just stored in the variable which is data and after the successful get request is done we'll be emitting the loaded state and follow and pass in the data as the parameter okay and this is all about for the event which is load data or else if the event is going to be navigate back button then at that time we will be rendering or will be emitting the initial state itself okay well this is all about the mapping of events to states inside the block file and with this we complete the setting about block for this app let's move on to the apis and for the apis you can Rows over here and say the data folder and inside the data folder we have the separate folder for api base url and inside the model we have created a basic model for the json bundle which we will be getting as a result of the get request okay and we will be having name address and company name okay and make use of the json decode and json import methods we can make use of the extension available vs code to generate these kind of methods okay and after doing that We'll be going to the repository folder here is where we'll be making the HTTP get request okay and we can make use of a get request and pass in the base url and append the endpoints if the status code is 200 we will be decoding the json bundle and converting as a list with the help of the two list of method or else if the request status code is going or else if the response status code is going to be anything other than 200 then at that time we'll be throwing an exception all right this is all about a uh, how to make an HTTP get request okay now now let's move on to the UI part and uh, let's see how to wire them up all together to get this app completely done we have the entry set of UI which is uh, predefined for the initial layout loading as well as loaded for the initial we have a simple elevator button uh, which is load data and upon clicking we will be triggering the load data of method which is present inside the block and for the loading we'll be making use of the similar widget okay and inside the loader is where we'll be making use of the list view builder to display the entire set of uh, JSONs okay and make use of the dot operator to access the particular kind of uh, value 
and we can make use of these kinds of widgets and say the block and render them accordingly okay in here let's create a body and the body is going to have the block consumer that is in turn going to take the states as plus the block and we have the listeners and the builders and for the listeners we are going to have nothing anything we are not going to have anything inside the listeners and inside the builder alone we will be checking for the states if the state is loaded state then at that time we will be rendering the build loader layout method we will be calling the build loader layout method by passing the data which we get as a re result of the api call or else if the, day, if the state is going to be loading then at that time we will be rendering the loading layout or else if it is none of the state is going to be there then at that time we will be simply rendering the initial layout state okay this is all about uh, how to map uh, how to render the particular kind of widget upon the particular states with this we complete the wiring up of a block pattern as well as uh, http get request api calls okay Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do so, consider subscribing and I will see you in the next one. Bye.